Well, hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, March 12th, 2024, at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And welcome, 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 everybody. Come on in. Say hello. I'm trying to get my camera <laughs> straight. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? It is. It was such just the most beautiful day today. It was like 72 and not a cloud in the sky. And it was so gorgeous. It felt just like spring. So um, I was, I had a class this morning and then I was out working in the yard. So why is my computer not uh, coming up? I did hit the button, didn't I? Yeah, okay, there it goes. <laughs> I'm like, my computer's not doing anything. <laughs> All right, can you guys hear me and see me? I hope, hope, hope. Let's see. My computer's just taking a while to get going. All right, so it looks like I'm on here, yay. All right, hey everybody. Did you guys have some beautiful weather today? Hopefully spring is here. It actually starts in, let me see, nine days. So we have a little bit over a week to um, get the first day of spring, but it's supposed to be nice here for at least the next week in the 70s every day. So I'm really excited. So I had a class this morning and then after my class was over, I went and um, worked in the yard for about three hours and uh, I am pooped. I'm telling you, my hands hurt so bad. I was pulling weeds for hours and uh, I got a lot of sun, but I had gloves on, so... Well, actually, my hands got some, too, so I don't know how because I had gloves on, but, uh, whew, I'm pooped. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I'm going to get up and mow the grass, so I wanted to get all those weeds out of the way before I uh, mowed, so that didn't, like, spread them everywhere. So we're going to be doing a one-sheet wonder today, and if you can tell, I have two different colors here. So I did the first one when I was practicing, I did with Moody Mauve. And after I did that one, I said, well, I wonder what it would look like with a darker color. And I really wanted to use Razzleberry, but we don't have that anymore. So I got Blackberry Bliss and tried it with that. And I said, oh, I really like it with that. So this was the first one that I did with the Moody Mauve. And that came out great and I love it. But I think I like the darker one better. So we're going to be doing the darker one today. And we're going to do a whole sheet and then cut it up and then just make one card. So you'll see how to do the whole sheet. But if you don't want to do a whole sheet, you can always just do one card. And we did this card in class this morning. So um, everybody liked it. It was really pretty. All right. Let me say hello to everybody. Hey, Lynn. Um, love this card in colors. Is it back in stock? Okay. I checked earlier. I think it's supposed to be back in stock um, next week. Um, I checked on two or three different things. Some are coming back this, like today or yesterday, and some are coming back um, next week. So I think this is next week. And then what was the other one that everybody was asking about? There was two sets. I can't remember what the other one was that I used um, recently. Oh, the um, Zinnia one. I think the Zinnia one is coming back in. Um, next week also. So um, if I'm wrong about that, just tell me because I am always right, wrong about stuff. So, <laughs> But I did look earlier and I was like, oh good. So something's coming right back in stock. The other one will be back next week. But now I can't remember which one is which. Um, hey, Diana. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Diane. Um, hey, Marie. Oh, I got a card from Marie today. Wait a minute. Today? Yeah, it was today. Um, yeah. And, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Um, hey, Robin. You got my card today. Good. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Carol. Hey, Marva. Hey, Judith. Hey, Bill. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Ardeen. Hey, Karen. Um, hey, Diana. Oh, you do. Do what? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. You do. Um, let's see. Where did I stop? Hey, Shanna. Hey, Kathy. Um, hey, Stephanie. Hey, Marva. Oh, I already said Marva. 
Um, hey, Deborah. Hey, Christine. Hey, Deb. Oh, South Carolina was 70 today. Good. I know. I'm so tired of winter. Even though we had a pretty mild winter, I'm still tired of it. I just was really looking forward to some sunny weather. We've had a lot of rain and gross weather lately. Um, sunny and warm in Florida. It's always sunny and warm in Florida. <laughs> I'd like to move there in the winter and be a snowbird. Um, hey, Jody. Hey, Sue. 80 degrees in New Mexico. Wow. Robin, you like the darker one, too, but both are pretty. Um, hey, Jana. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Karen. Hey, Mary. Oh, Sherry, you got your package. Good. Hey, Reva. You received my card. Also, good. Um... Oh, good. Okay. Well, let me see. So, this is what we're making. And then, so this is the stamp set we're using, Magnolia Mood. And, um, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is going to be back in stock next week. Um, and I think the Zinnia one is back this week, this week or next week. And we're also using Notes of Nature for these two and this one. This is one of my favorite ones. I love it. Oh, and this word stamp too. So we're using both of these stamp sets and they work really well together. And then, oh, let me show you my happy mail. So I got a couple cards. So this one is from Beth Dreyer, my friend Beth. She is um, visiting her dad in Pennsylvania. So she sent me this cute card. Isn't that adorable? Love it. And then I got one, my glasses on to see this. This is from, oh, I can't read the name. Hold on. This is a fancy fold one, too. <laughs> she put Lisa Gerwin. <laughs> I don't know who Lisa Gerwin is, but I got it. Let me see. Stanislavski. Where's her? I can't find her name, though. I think there was a, I thought there was a note or something in there. Um. Let's see. So this one opens like this. Oops, I just bent it. So it's a St. Patrick's Day card. Isn't that cute? Love it. But it doesn't have her first name on here. It just says Stanislavski. So thank you for that. And then this one is from Karen. I finally got your card, Karen. So this is her fun fold card, which is really cute. So, oops. Wait a minute. Here we go. Are you ready? Ta-da! Isn't that cool? I love it. Love it, love it. So it's like a fun fold that's super hard looking. I don't know how hard it is to make, but it looks super difficult. I don't know. But it just folds right back down into that. So Karen, you'll have to tell us how hard that was to make. Love it, love it. I don't know why it took so long to get here. So that is just crazy because you had the right address. So I don't know, but I just got it um, Saturday, I think. And then this one is the one I got from Marie today. So this one is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Now I've seen this on a couple different people's uh, videos and I haven't watched it yet to see how you make it. So I'm going to have to look at that. But um, it kind of reminds me of one that I did a long time ago with the shells and um, I can't even remember how I did it, but I remember I put color on there and then you took the black ink pad and went like across it. But I'm gonna have to go look because this is absolutely gorgeous. Can you see the shimmer on it? It's so pretty. Love it, love it. So thank you, Marie. I'm definitely gonna have to copy this one. And um, let's see, it just has a note on the inside. But that is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to have to go watch those videos and figure out how to make it. All right. Don't forget card kit. Um, I think this is the last chance. Today's at 12. So you got three more days to get this card kit um, in the mail. I was cutting all the paper for that on Sunday. And that's with a $50 order using the host code. And then if your order's $100 or more, you get these gems to go with it. All right. I think that's all of the news I have for today. So... Let me see. Any more comments? Let's see. Snow yesterday. Marva got snow. Ugh. 
And then 50 degrees today. Well, at least it's getting warmer. Um, oh, Margaret, you got my card today too. Yay. Okay. Better than a Hallmark card for sure. Definitely. Yes, Karen. I was so glad when I finally saw it in the mail. I was like, yes, I finally got it. Okay, so here's what you need for today's card. Um, if you want to do the whole sheet, just use a whole sheet of the very vanilla. So it's eight and a half by 11, very vanilla. Or if you just want to make one card, you're just going to have two pieces of this, this size of vanilla. We've got, this is our back, our base piece, five and a half by eight and a half, Blackberry Bliss. Um, another piece of very vanilla. This is for the inside. And then our words are going to be on those two little pieces. And if you use different words, like if you don't have these words, you can use different ones and just, what I always do with words is I just stamp them on a piece of scrap paper and then cut it down to the size I want. So um, that's what you guys can do. All right, so get a screenshot of that. Yes, Marie's card is beautiful. Um, Sherry says, how close are you to be a million dollar seller? I am. Not too close. I'm like 750,000 right now. So I've still got a ways to go. Um, is it you or is it blurry? Uh, mine is pretty clear. So I think maybe maybe refresh your screen. Because um, mine looks pretty good. I don't really like this paper though. I think I'm going to have to go back to like white paper. Because this red is just like too overpowering for me. We'll cover it up. <laughs> we'll cover that up. There we go. <laughs> That's better. My hands hurt so bad. It's like, ugh, I've got arthritis in my hands. I'm pulling all those weeds today about killed my fingers. You know, when you got to keep going like that. And I tell you what, I have, we have those big giant garbage cans. You know that the truck comes by and picks them up. I filled up one whole one of those with just weeds today. So that was a lot of weeds. All right, so we're gonna start with this piece and we have a blank slate. I love it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is use our Blackberry Bliss with our gorgeous Magnolia stamp. And I had to re-ink this and it's still not even that juicy. I don't, my, my Blackberry Bliss ink was like so thick, I had to use two hands to squeeze it out because it wouldn't come out. All right, so we're gonna ink this up. I'm doing it off the pad because I don't want to shake the video. All right, so we're just going to start right up in the top corner and stamp it. And we're going to stamp off. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it right on this. So there we go. We're going to do this several times, just kind of all over the place. And if you want to kind of turn them different directions you can. I'm just going to kind of try to keep it going the right direction. All right. And then I just want a couple that are stamped off. So I'm going to do that right there. All right. So I kind of want one right there, but I don't know if I can fit it or not. Let me see. I want it stamped off though. Yeah, I think we can get one right there. Okay. All right, so we're done with that. So let's see what else we're going to do next. We're going to do the background part. So I've got this one, which goes in. This is Pebbled Path. And we're going to stamp off because this is kind of a juicy pad. So stamp off, and then we're just going to kind of fill in some of the blank areas. And try to, I don't know why, I always have a problem getting this stamp straight. Oops, stamp off. But I love this stamp. It's such a good background stamp. I really wish they would bring back... Um, French script. That was one of my favorite ones from back in the day. All right, maybe one or two more of these. And it doesn't matter if you go over top of your flowers. All right, so there we go. All right, so we're done with that one. 
then we're gonna do um let's see this one right here oh and while I have this gray out I'm gonna go ahead and do my words because we use that gray for the words so we're doing a birthday card so stamp that on there and then we're gonna um rip it and dip it so just rip off the end dip it in your ink pad a lot of people have told me now they do this rip and dip all the time it does just it adds a lot to your card i think all right we'll save that so that's what that looks like so we're done with this color all right next we're going to go to the blue so for blue we have coastal cabana and we're gonna do, oops, no, wait a minute. You know what, we're gonna do this one first, sorry. So this is bubble bath. And this is just for the background. And this is full strength. So I'm just gonna put this like all over. This just gives a real subtle background because it's so light. If you wanna do it in the gray, you can. Um, and it'll show up darker, but I did both of these in the gray on the first one, I think. Did I? Yeah, see, I've did some in the gray. You can see right here. So if you want to do the gray, um, oops, it's this way. Um, you can. It looks good. I did both on here. So there's a pink one and a gray one. So you can do it in either color. But I kind of liked the way the pink came out. I was trying to type, <laughs> like, reply to some comments before I started the video. And my hands were, like, hurting so bad. <laughs> I did about six comments, and I'm like, okay, we're going to stop that. All right, so next we've got, we're done with the pink. So that was bubble bath. And then um, we've got this for Coastal Cabana. Um, let me see. Just got here. Hey, Francis. Yeah, Teresa, I think it is supposed to be in next week. I'm pretty sure. I saw that it was coming in next week. Beautiful card. You did that technique after receiving one from me last year. Yes, that's what it was, Reva. Yeah, that card that Marie did, it was, I'm pretty sure it was, I did it with the shells. Um, yeah, but I can't remember exactly how I did it. So I'm going to have to go back and look. <laughs> I want to say, like, you emboss it, then you put the color on it, but I can't remember. And then I remember going over it with the black pad. All right, so we're going to put this just wherever and stamp um, first and second generation. And you can do it like all different directions. Love these colors together. They're so pretty. And it doesn't matter if you go on top of other stuff. You can't, whoops, I messed that one up a little bit. I forgot, if I stamp on the edge, you can't go back in the middle. All right, let's do one more right there. Okay, so that's it for that one. And then I pulled out the leaf, which matches that. So I'm just gonna stick some leaves in here just to give it a little bit more of the blue color. So just wherever you want some more blue, stick that in. And I love these colors. And then we're going to be using Wink of Stella to add some really pretty color to the flower. All right, I think that's enough blue. So we're done with that. And we've got little sprinkles. So I just grabbed these sprinkles. I don't remember what stamp set they're from, but they're in so many stamp sets. We probably have like 10 stamp sets that have these little sprinkles in them. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sprinkles on here. And the key to the sprinkles is gentle touch. So you barely want to touch your paper, which, oh, see, look, we just fixed that. So whenever you do these, just make sure you're just, just really, really light touch with that. Maybe one more right there. Okay. 
So that looks good. So we're done with the blue. Then we've got um, one more. Now you could stop here, but I took this other one and just added a little bit more of the Blackberry Bliss. So I'm gonna stamp off on this so it's not quite so dark. And just put these, um, this little flower, just wherever, just a couple of these. And if you think that's too busy, you don't have to do that one. You can skip it. But I don't know. Oh, we'll cover this one too. So then you really won't see that <laughs> mistake. <laughs> you can always cover your mistakes. All right, I think that is good. So we are done with that. All right, and then for the inside of the card, we're just going to stamp... Um, this little flower, which is also in that um, Magnolia set. And there you go. So, ta-da! Okay, so there's our whole sheet. And then we're going to do, um, after I cut it, we're going to do some Wink of Stella on there. So, this we can just go ahead and glue inside. So see how fast that was? You just made four cards. Like, boom. That's what I love about One Sheet Wonder. It's so easy just to make a whole bunch at the same time. And you don't waste it because when you make single cards, you know, you're kind of wasting all the stuff around the edge. So this, everything gets, you know, on the paper. So you don't waste any. And then we'll glue these together. My scrap paper looks really messy now. Okay, put that right there. And then we're gonna um, rip this at the end. So we've got, that's what it looks like. All right, so let's cut this up and see what we get. So I'm gonna cut it into quarters first. So we're just going to cut it in half at five and a half. And yes, mine is upside down. And then let's take, let's see, we'll do, I think I'm going to do this one. So we're going to cut this in half at four and a quarter and then trim that down. So I like this one I think I'm going to use. So you still have these to use later. So I'm just going to trim this down to um, five and a quarter by four. So that way, if you have any mess ups or you don't like a certain area, you can cut that off the edge. So I think I'm going to do this bottom part. So we're cutting it at five and a quarter by four. And if you want to, you can save these pieces to put on your inside. You know, if you wanted to put it like right up at the top or whatever you want to do. They're always good to keep. I think I just threw one in the trash by accident. I sure did. Better save that one. Okay. So now let me show you what we're going to do with Wink of Stella. So you're going to take it and what did I do? Oh, here it is. I thought I lost it. Okay. For some reason, there's certain colors that really, really blend nicely with Wink of Stella. And the Blackberry Bliss is one of them. So when you take this and you start coloring, it's just going to bleed from the Wink of Stella and give you just a really pretty color. So it kind of turns it more from a blackish purple into a reddish purple. And I just think it looks so pretty. So I'm just going to kind of blend this all together. And if you want to do the leaves, um, you can. I did the leaves on, uh, let's see, this one. So this one I didn't do the leaves, and this one I did the leaves. So you see the difference? But it's so pretty. It just blends it all together. Love it. What do you think? Do you like it better with the leaves blended in or just plain? It's just darker. So it's up to you. Now on this one that I did with the um, Moody Mauve, I actually took a blending brush and sponged it with the bubble bath instead of doing the Wink of Stella. So 
But see the difference that blending makes? Oh, so pretty. And for some reason, like I went over the blue here, it doesn't blend the blue, but it'll blend the, the purple. But there are certain colors, the navy, like Night of Navy, Starry Sky. For some reason, it's just like the blues and the purples really um, blend well. And other colors don't even blend at all with this. So I'm going to do the center right here too. See how pretty that is? What do you think? Should I do the leaves or no? Love the leaves blended. Do leave. Okay, everybody says do the leaves. All right, so let's go ahead and do all of it. Love it. So it's all sparkly. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkle too, but you could do this with a blender pen. If you don't have Winka Stella, the blender pen would give you the same look, but without the shimmer. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so see the difference between that one? Well, that's a stamped off version, but like, let me see. Do I have, oh, I'm going to pull out the original one. Okay, so see the difference? So this one is just stamped. That's with the, um, the Wink of Stella. That's a huge difference. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so we're going to keep going, so... Gotta do the whole thing. Once you do one, you gotta do them all. So this is stamped off, so it's not gonna be quite as dark as the original one, but it's still gonna be beautiful. And it's so unrelaxing doing this. Love it. So I have to go to work tomorrow after I <laughs> mow the grass in the morning. I got to get ready for work. But I had no energy left. I finished working in the yard about 3.30 and I said, I don't think I can do anything else. I'm too tired. Because, you know, pulling weeds is like killer on your back. I did sit down on a, a towel in the yard and then did some of it that way. But most of it, I was just standing there bending over. And my back was screaming. So I've got a joke for you guys today. That's a really cute one. All right, so there we go. I think I got all of them. All right, so don't you love it? And then to clean the the um, Winka Stella, you just wipe it until it doesn't have color on it and it comes right off. All right, so then that's gonna go on here. Love it, love it. So my Thursday class gets to see this. My Tuesday class was surprised, but Thursday class, we're making this card. So Diane, I know Diane's on here, so she'll see this ahead of time. All right, then we're going to put this on here with the dimensionals. And... Then we're gonna make a little bow. And we don't wanna cover our big flower. So just kind of put your words wherever. You don't wanna cover your flower up. So we'll put it, I'm gonna put it a little bit higher, but I don't wanna cover that gorgeous flower. All right, and then the, the gems that I've got are these fest, festive pearls. So they come in gold, silver, green, and um, red, but the funny thing is the red really matches this and so does the green. So you can use either one of these colors and they'll look good. But I did one with green and one with red. So you can see both. Which one do you like better? Because the green one matches the Coastal Cabana and the red one matches the Blackberry. So we can use either one. I love, these are some of my favorite gems because they go so well with everything. Red, red, red. Red stands out, yeah. Okay, all right, so we'll do red. All right, so get your, take your pick tool and just grab a few. 
So we'll put one on there. See how that is really red, but if you put it on something that's purple, it looks more purple. So we'll just put a few of these on here. And let's see, we'll do one there. All right, so there's our gems. And then of course, it wouldn't be complete without shimmer spray. Now, if you're brand new and have never seen shimmer spray, I show it in every single video pretty much. But it is just alcohol, 70% alcohol, mixed with this champagne mist shimmer paint. And as some of you guys said mine is so dark. I think my bottle is stained because my bottle is kind of grayish looking. So it makes the inside look darker. But um, if you put it in, this was clear, but I think just over the years, I've had this for like probably at least five years and it's just gotten stained a darker color. But you just pour a little bit of this in like a quarter of a te teaspoon. I don't measure it. I just kind of go like that. Then you shake it up and hold it about 12 inches above your paper and spritz it and oh, it just gives it so much sparkle and makes your colors just pop out. So isn't that gorgeous? Love it, love it, love it. So that is my card for today. So look at the difference after the Wink of Stella and before. So that makes a huge difference. Cause it just, I mean, it's pretty there, but it's like gorgeous after you do the Wink of Stella and the Shimmer Spray. It just makes it pop. And it reminds me more of the Razzleberry that we used to have, because the Blackberry Bliss, just stamped by itself, it is kind of a blackish purple. But now with the Wink of Stella, it turns it into more of the Razzleberry look. So, there you go. And then this is the Moody Mauve one, the original. I do like it, the Blackberry Bliss better. All right, so. We have got a joke and we've got some cards to give away. So don't go yet. Let me read the comments real quick. Um, we'll have to watch from the start in the morning. Oh, hey, Marie. Can't wait to try this one. These are great looking. Thanks, you guys. Yes, I am still live. Um, am I, are you going to do, what is, Oh, the Paper Pumpkin Lovely Lavender. Um, yeah, I just haven't had time to do it. I'm not going to do it as a class, but I, I'm going to do it just like one day I'll sit down and do some. Yeah, I did a one sheet wonder, Heather. Um, you'll have to go back and look at the whole thing. I hate this the background paper. <laughs> I don't know why that, that red just kind of bothers me. Let me put these over some here. <laughs> I'm going to have to take this away. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let me get my joke ready for you guys. Um, all right, a man was marooned on a desert island. One day, a beautiful woman arrives in a wetsuit. She says, um, when did you last have a smoke? And he says, five years ago. So she gets out a cigar and he smokes it. She unzips her wetsuit in a, a bit more and says, when did you last have a drink? He said five years ago, so she gets out a bottle of scotch and he has a drink. Then she unzips her wetsuit a little bit more and says, and when was the last time you played around? And he looks at her in amazement and says, you're not telling me you've got a set of golf clubs in there. <laughs> Get it? He played around <laughs> of golf. I know y'all didn't see that one coming, so I thought that was cute. You were thinking it was going to be something dirty, right? <laughs> okay, so let me get some cards out to give away. So I'll put these away. All right, so these are the cards I'm giving away today. I got two of these and these, two. let's cover up that ugly red yuck. Okay, so I'm going to pick this last time I'm picking from the bowl. So then I'm going to go through the comments again and pick winners. But I'd like this the way of doing this, so just have different names in the um, bowl. So starting next time, I'm going to go through the comments and write down names and put in the bowl. So um, winner is Susan Tenzar. So Susan, you win this card. And then next winner is 
and get it open. Laura Sullivan. So Laura, you win that one. Next one is Sue Freelier. You get that one. And then, oh, we're almost out of these things. Next one is Reva. Reva, you get that one. And last one is John Street. So John, you get this gorgeous one. So congratulations, everybody. Make sure you send me your address. Actually, I probably have your address because I still have the card sitting right here. So I, I think I have everybody's address. Um, so there you go. So uh, those are the winners for today. So starting next time, I'm just gonna throw comment people into the bowl and randomly pick them. So make sure you're leaving comments. I'll go back through the live and the other comments. So congratulations, everybody. Don't forget if you wanna order. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you. So next week on Monday, the retired list comes out for the catalog, the big catalog and the spring mini. And if you're a demonstrator, you get to see the new catalog online. So the retiring list, I'm not sure if they're going to have a sale. Um, I'm sure they will have a sale to go with the retiring list, but I'm not sure if the sale will start on the 18th or if it will be like last year when they sent the list out and then you had to wait like a week. So I don't know. We don't really know anything ahead of time, hardly. So only thing I know is the list comes out on Monday, but um, they always have a retiring list special, you know, where some things are discounted. So I'm sure that will come out um, sometime after that, but I'm not sure if it'll start on the 18th or not. So, all right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you, wow, we did that really fast. We did a one sheet wonder, a card, and gave away and a joke in 37 minutes. That's crazy. And I talked for a little bit. So see how fast that was? <laughs> All right. I'll be back Saturday morning. Don't forget Saturday morning, 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. And oh, your husband would love that joke. Um, All right. 10 o'clock Saturday morning, Eastern time. And I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Oh, Tina Zink has reverse embossing. You emboss cardstock on Debo side colors desired to gently cover with the, uh, oh, debossed, I think it's debossed side. Yeah, I know it's the back. Okay, so I'll have to go watch Tina's video. I love her, she's so sweet. Um, okay, so I will see you guys soon. Have a great rest of your week. Enjoy this warm, sunny weather. Hopefully that you all have too. And take care, everybody. Bye-bye.